Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Trustmaster TH8A <coughs> shifter. Um, so this shifter is actually really good. I haven't actually used it in any games yet, so I kind of bought it for no reason because I don't actually have a game to support it. But I am thinking of getting a set of courses soon, so you will have some gameplay with this soon. <coughs> um, and before the video starts, um, if you didn't know. <coughs> If you didn't know, around 97% of people that watch the videos aren't even subscribed. I'll pop a picture up on screen right now. That's crazy. So make sure you like and subscribe, guys. And see you in the video. Right, so this is the segment where you kind of set it up, if you know what I mean. So we're going to get it. I'm gonna... So you kind of want to open it up, like, to your desired, like opening and it has um pads so it won't actually um has a pad underneath so the metal won't gonna rub off or anything like with this road arm mic arm here i have and it's hidden away behind my monitors um this is actually the first youtube video in the new room apart from the setup tour but um here you can just clamp it on underneath and make sure it's tightened because if it's not well then what way am I putting it? Um, I don't really know. I think I'm making it looser. Um, I don't know what so I'm just gonna come on now. Yeah, I'm putting it up. Anyway, while we're doing that, make sure you like and subscribe just because. And also, um, if you want to buy this shifter, I will put a link in the description. Um, this um. It is a really good shifter under 200 euro slash dollars and pounds. I'd be nearly positive about it. Um, but I love this shifter so much. Like, the shifting's really nice on it. And um, if, you, if you're if kind of starting, like, sim racing, <clears throat> there is a Logitech um, one as well. So, if you don't want to be breaking the bank for this, because this is quite expensive for a first shifter for me it is um 170 pounds i believe 170 euros i believe so it is pretty expensive but um for what you're getting it's really worth it <clears throat> you're getting a huge pattern shifter um really nice shifts and um you know it's pretty much all metal apart from like in here that's kind of silk and then just around the edge it's kind of plastic but um, it's really good plastic. And here's the connection cable um, that will hang off this. And then it comes with two other connection cables. One to connect to this and um, and a USB at the end to plug into your PC. And for console, it comes with another one where you plug the same kind of port into this. And then plug the other end of that lead into the back of your steering wheel. My steering wheel is just under my desk there. I have the Trustmaster T150. Um, I don't have the Pro version. Um, I just have the standard Ferrari version, um, and it's it's a really good wheel. Um, I will also leave a link to that in the description. Um, but um, yeah, this shifter is really worth it. I don't know where the little the screwdriver thing is, but it also does come with this. Um, I forget the name of it actually, but um, if you have it properly, you only have to go like that and that. And if and then to put it on, it's um pretty straightforward. You just unscrew this, and by the way, you can get like an aftermarket shifter head, um off off um off the market off Google, um you can just clamp it onto this because this is totally unclampable, and um you just pop it on. Um, but that's why I was taking it off. If you want to do that, it might hurt your hands a little bit. And shift your knob. <clears throat> and then you're going to put this on. I don't actually know where the screws are gone. But you, you unscrew these four screws. So there's four screws. In e there's a screw in either corner of the uh, metal the metal circle for the hitch pattern. And then there's four little holes here, here. So here, 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 and here. I don't know if you can really see them on camera. There, look, you see the holes in the corner? 
there, 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 and there. So, let me just pop that down. True. And then after that, it kind of just slides down. And it goes like, this the way, it goes like that. So, so for gear up, you just go like that, gear down. But there is, and then you obviously clamp that back on. But there is a little thing up here. There is a little like knob. Not this. You can see my finger is there. Underneath that, see the little black bit there? That, um, there's a underneath this when you take it off. You take it off and there's a little hole there. And you want to put that, or um, where's it gone? You want to put that there. The little, like, like the little piece sticking out. Pull it down. And then that's just clamp into wherever the hole is on your shifter. Um, it's a really good, <clears throat> um, ability to have on a shifter and um i feel if you want a high quality shifter for under 200 euros um i would recommend getting this so much you know this is such a good this is such a good shifter sorry my video cut off there <clears throat> but um because my alarm went off this is such a good shifter for under 200 euros if you are going to buy a shifter these days shifters can get a bit expensive if you know what I mean because um there's um like with um with the pandemic and everything um some of the f1 and stuff has been put off so like big um shift the big like drivers would download like i racing which is a really expensive game for sim racing and they'd be racing with one of these maybe and like well not this was well am I but like such as Lewis Hamilton, he might do sim racing during the pandemic, whatever. And and they'd use a shifter, and they might be sold out because the amount of race the amount of drivers that are out there, they could possibly sell out. But um, for this one, this was fully in stock when I bought it, and I am actually behind me here. I bought this at the same time. It's a handbrake. It's really good. <clears throat> it's only a handbrake so i'm not really gonna do a review on it but um and this is a really really good shifter 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 i do recommend buying this if you have like if you are on a budget of let me say 180 to 200 euros and um, then i would recommend this so much um and <clears throat> a great combo actually to buy like together this and this that's if you already have a steering wheel of course but um yeah so when you're installing this you kind of just put it in and then <clears throat> i've and my voice has gone all croaky this morning i didn't know why Um, now my voice has gone deeper. Huh. But this goes in, and um, then this just screws on. And there you have it, I guess. Um, so last night, Stephen, he was at my house, if you've heard of him, the YouTuber. And we had so much fun up my setup. Um, we were, like, comparing YouTubers, so we were comparing me to Mr. Beast, to him. And um, huge shout-out to Stephen, he, honestly. He's a, he's a pure legend. He's a, he's taught me every bit I need to know about YouTube. And I guess I could start gaining from this, if you know. Um, he gave me lots of tips. And uh, now I have a famous person subscribed to me. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of the video there for you guys. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. So do buy this if you can afford it. And it's in your price range um if you're on a budget do buy this if you can um instead of the logitech one i know no no hate on logitech logitech are such a good brand they're putting so much hard work in and i love you logitech i have a logitech mouse actually that's my gaming mouse and but this would just be that one bit better but um you can do lots of mods with the logitech one but i do recommend this it's more expensive and it's more metal but because 
if you're like a starter with sim racing, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's reverse down here with the Logitech one. You have to do by um do by knowledge. But if you do like the bag kind of shifters, get the Logitech one. If you like the stick shifter, get this one. I do recommend entirely. And um, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. If you did, make sure to smash a like, subscribe. Um, because only 97-ish people and only 3% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. Now I know because 90,000 people viewed that um, Autotune versus No Autotune video. And um, that was actually a really like, like it blew up on my channel. It blew up completely. Um, but if you did enjoy, please make sure to smash a like, subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you don't miss another video. And if my comments are turned on, which are normally not, make sure to leave a comment. And um, maybe if you want another kind of segment of a video on this, like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss it. So comment down below if you want another one. See you in the next video. And I will leave a link to this sort of stuff down in the description. And the handbrake. And my steering wheel and stuff like that. But if you did enjoy, please make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.